everyone, it's Allison. This is the second part of my story called Mia. The first part can be found under stories as a bookmark or a playlist rather on my channel. So there will be three parts to this story and this is part two. Uh, and then I will continue to do more stories. So I hope you are enjoying. Please like below so if you let, enjoy this, so I know that these stories are helpful for you. I put the script of the story in the description below so that you can follow along if you wish to practice your listening. Or you could even read along with me to practice your speaking and pronunciation. Okay, here we go. Part two of Mia. Mia squinted her eyes and moved closer to the shiny object in the water. It was so small, there was no way it was something dangerous. The next wave pushed the shiny object a little bit closer to where she was standing. She leaned over and looked closely. Mia's jaw dropped. It was a beautiful ring. She quickly picked it up and looked at it in the palm of her hand. It was a lovely piece of jewelry. It had small little diamonds around the outside of the ring. There were some carvings in the side of the ring that made it shimmer even more. There was a beautiful blue stone set at the center of the ring. This is one of the loveliest things I've ever seen, said Mia. I can't believe I found it. And the wheels started spinning in Mia's head. Whose ring could this possibly be? She thought. And do they even know that it is missing? It's so fancy. It must belong to somebody very wealthy and famous, or maybe even to someone who is royalty. Her imagination continued to spiral with more and more ideas. She stared out at the setting sun over the glistening water, holding tight to the ring. This ring may have come from very far away and it made it right here to her feet. The ocean is very vast and wide. It spreads from country to country. Perhaps this ring is even very old. Maybe this ring has been missing from a princess for 300 years. Or maybe there was a movie star on a yacht for a party. And as she blew a kiss to some of her friends and fans, the ring flew off of her hand and into the water. Or maybe the ring belongs to a very young, simple village girl like herself, whose grandmother had been very wealthy and shared with her a precious birthday gift. Mia imagined many other situations from where this ring came. She realized that whoever is missing it must be looking for it now. She knew it had to be very special to someone, whoever they are. Just then, Mia heard voices coming over the hill to where she was standing. She couldn't understand what the people were saying, but they sounded like they were arguing. Mia clenched the ring tightly in her hand and shoved it into the pocket of her dress. Her mind started reeling again with questions. Could I be in trouble for finding the ring? What if someone thinks I stole it? And who are these people that are coming this way that sound so upset? Might they know about the ring? Okay, that's the end of part two. Please watch for part three and the end of the Mia story. Thank you.